one of them went to church. A man of God now said that uh, what some of them are passing through, that I am the one that is bearing my own children. And since then, they are not even asking me, how are you? How are you doing? Hello people, it's your boy Skitro Comedy aka the next governor. Um, today again, we don't interest you, you can't do that in we do best. Um, today matter, it gets as it is. Today, very, today's issue is somehow, is very touching and at the same time very educative. Someone recommended this woman to me. They called me. They told me what she has been passing through. When I look into the matter, I asked them to send the woman across to me. I told them to give her my number, let her call me. She called me and I asked her to meet me up today. Which is the reason why she is here now. Her story, her story is very, very touching. But so many of us, including me, will learn from it after watching this very issue. Please, without wasting anybody's time, like I said, I would like us to go and meet this woman so that she will narrate this story that she, the, she narrated to me over the phone that made me to ask her to come here. But before then, please, if you want to contact me, the one and only way that you can reach me, that you can contact Skit Lord Comedy, is by my email address. And my email address is skitlordcomedy at gmail.com skitlordcomedy at gmail.com As you continue to be a real and faithful fans, may God bless you and bless your own in the name of Jesus. Please, before we meet this woman, I would like us to observe a minute silent for my beloved Godfather. For my beloved Father. I call him Father because he's worth it. Who passed away on the second day of March 2024? And who is no other person than Mr. John E.K. Chukun Okafo, a.k.a. Mr. Ibu. I know you all know him. He's a popular Nollywood celebrity. Please, fans, join me as we observe a minute silent for him. Yes. Sir, may your soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. So, fans, without wasting anybody's time, let's dive into the matter that brought us to this place. This very issue is being brought to me by this woman here. So, madam, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. What is the name? My name is Cynthia. Cynthia, okay. Madam Cynthia, please, eh? How are you doing? Will I say fine? I'm not fine, no. You're not fine. Okay, by grace of God, you'll be fine. So, Madam Cynthia, this um this very issue that you narrated to me over a phone call, eh? I would want you to narrate this same issue to us. Why I said us is because look at the camera, the world is watching. Everybody wants to hear this story. They are watching and they are patiently waiting to hear this story that I told them that is very touching and but at the same time they are going to learn from it. They want to hear it, especially they want to hear it from the horse's mouth. So I will appreciate you if you will narrate this story to them the same way you narrated it to me, please. Good afternoon. Can you speak out? I can't hear you. Speak out. Good afternoon. Thank you for this uh, 
this um, opportunity. What, what happened is that I have grown up children and they have been taking care of me since we are, we are, we are all living in a very, we are a happy family. Okay. All of a sudden, one of them went to church. A man of God now said that uh, what some of them are passing through, that I am the one that is being my own children. And since then, they are not even asking me, how are you? How are you doing? They are mom that they don't, before, they don't allow me to do anything or ask for anything. Unfortunately, after that uh, vision, or will I call it vision or prophecy. prophecy, the man of God gave to them, till this moment, none of them is asking me, how are you doing? And another thing is that, as I'm standing here before you, I cannot hurt anybody. I can't even plan any thing to do anybody. I don't have that kind of mind. How will I have the mind to hurt my own children that are carried nine months? I care for them. I train them in school. So since then, if I say that I'm happy, I'm a big liar. Even to feed even to pay for my house rent because all of them just abandoned me. Nobody is asking me, Mommy, how are you doing again? I cannot speak out now. I can't even talk to man of God because I don't know. Within me, I don't know. I don't know what is happening. I don't know if I'm the one or I don't know if I'm not the one. But within me, I know I cannot hurt somebody. I can't even hurt somebody's child or less of my own. My own children that I love very well. Why will I be blocking their own way? So when man of God, and I cannot go and approach that man of God and start asking him such questions. And I've been seeing what you have been doing. And I said, let me come and ask for you people to help me. If you people, help me, let me know if I'm the one that is being my own children. Maybe I'm doing it without knowing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right. Um, Madam, I heard what you said. I heard what you said. It's okay. Um, people, you heard her story. Hmm? Her problem started the very day one of her children went to a church and they prophesied to her that their mother has been behind what they are passing through. Yes, but without wasting anybody's time, we have all heard her story. It's a very touching one. I told you people I cried when she told me this story. I cried, and I'm still crying because at times I wonder why children will abandon their mother for so long. How many years has this thing been happening? It is to four years now. Four good years. You abandoned your mother. Four good years because of a male prophecy it could be true yes but a mother is a mother but at the same time i doubt the possibility how can a mother be the sole cause of the problem her children are facing i doubt the possibility but without wasting anybody's time, I will turn to Sia. Let's hear what Sia have to say about this very issue. Please, Sia Biko, um, in the this woman who could Biko, um, I like you good. You never go die off, um, never go die off, um, you never go die off, um, you never Prophecy and why and you couldn't hear long where Melo had you busia Melo had you walk of Yazo. Biko never go die a Kemaluko is you can call as Biko. You people just watch, just follow up and see how all these things are going to play out. But no matter anything, no matter anything. 
do not turn your back at your mom. I cannot do that. Hmm? I cannot do that. I doubt. Can a mother even do that? I doubt the possibility. I know things are happening, but let us hear from the seer. Um, they can say for. Mm hmm. What are the lonely bulla, mama? Manota de Roria. Okay, see, I said, from what he's seen here, the person that made that prophecy is to be blamed. But at the same time, the person is not to be blamed. Let me ask him why. See, her, please, why do you say so? <sighs> Come back a little bit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah, me living this in water the rollia. Manebe uta no daily abu no full run easy. Of course, I'm not fuma. Yes, she has said the best the pastor or the prophet that prophesied to die your daughter. That he see he said what he saw. He saw he said what he saw. But where, where he now said, the reason why he said he's going to be blamed because he did not see to the end. He did not see to the end. So, see, Abiko, what exactly is this? Biko, can you hear this? Oya Muma Afu. Can you hear Oya Muma Afu? Biko, what can I? Onye ne me omu ya. Mm-hmm. Bukwa no onye onzo. Okay. Mana. Obi ilu ne ha. Ko onye afu jiabia. Uh, madam, she has said that someone is actually behind what is happening to your children, but that person is appearing to them with your face. The person is using your face to cause a huge problem in your family. Okay, see, Abigo, continue. Oh, yeah, I'll be family. Aka ya bon wat nwany di ocha ni yene mumuya. Okay. See I said that is that about that. So that is what happened. That this woman's hand, this woman's hands are clean towards what is happening to her children. Please. Please. I'm not saying that they are not. They are not, they are no more. They are, they are true men of God. They are no more. Yet they are true men of God. They are people who see directly from God. They are people who see from where they are seeing. A lot of families have been torn apart because of this kind of prophecy. That's why most times we don't like saying, calling people's name. We can only give you a solution. Tell you, look at what to do and what not to do. Now, by saying this, by saying this thing, now something now came into my mind. Madam, when they told your children that you are behind what is happening to them, didn't they tell them, didn't the prophet tell them what to do so that all those things will stop? He just gave her prayers according to her. They gave them her prayers to pray. Uh -huh. So now, after the prayers, after as the everything come to an end. That's it. What is happening is still happening. Yes, it's even more now. It's even more. Yes. Hope you people are hearing that. Eh? She said after the prophecy, they gave her prayers. And after praying, what is happening keep on happening. And even happening the more. Please let us be careful. There are people who God called, you, but there are some who called God. You have to differentiate from these two people. Hmm? Differentiate from these people. People who God called and people who called God. Remember what the Bible said. He said, it's not everybody that called Jesus, Jesus, that will be saved. If you like, believe it or leave it. The same reason why he said that my judgment will start from the house of God. When I don't ever reason that thing. Have you ever thought about this thing I said? Why God said, his judgment is going to start from the house of God. Please, it is good to be in the congregation of the righteous. 
I said the righteous. I said again, the righteous. Nobody all churches be church. Mind where you they put your fruit. Mind where you step into in the name of worshiping God. So without wasting anybody's time, I will ask Sia if there is any solution who can prescribe from this woman, prescribe for this woman, so that what is happening in her family will come to an end. Please, let me see. See, because we we did give me who I am. Who me after that one now? He have walo he have walo have blaze you. Then ka he was up one again. Mero so that he had name her we are pushing. Because never go there. I came out with her again. Mero. Madam is okay. Just calm down. Iyo ka ka parume. Obo bambo. Mhm. Obo chundi genyeli akameya. Okay. Bono ga ka paru. Anya no mu ya. Mhm. Ile bia fua. Okay. Ga gwa fa iye na eme ha na ebo si. Na ka ga si we me ari aya. Okay. Okay. Em people madam she has said, hmm? What you will do is you will try and get in touch with your children if they know if they will not listen to you if they are not going to listen to you please find someone to help you and reach them and talk to them see i said that you should come with them so that him will tell them what their problems are and where their problem is coming from and then what they are going to do to overcome those problems hmm? You can do that, Abby. Uh, the problem is, I don't know if they will accept coming, but as you just advised me, I will look for somebody, one of their uncle that okay. is close to them, to talk to them on my behalf, so that we will come because I want them to know that I don't, my aunt, I, am, I didn't do anything, I and I will not do anything bad to them. Yeah, calm down, calm down. <laughs> um, people, should be, you people have heard the woman. What will happen is that, eh, madam, you are going to give me one of your children's number. Hmm? Mm. See, you have their number. Do you have their number offhand? Mm -hmm. Or uh, anyone? Just give me anyone's number here. And yeah. um, people, I'm going to call. I'm going to call the person she's going to give me his or her number now. I will call the person and tell talk to them and book a meeting with that very person let me see how i'm going to convince that very one so that they will be able to come and see sia it's time for light to shine upon their life yeah let them come so that sia will tell them what exactly is happening to them and what they can do to overcome that problem so please without wasting anybody's time I would want you to go to the comment section right now. Tell me what you feel about this very issue. Eh? And don't forget to comment respectfully. And please share after watching. Hmm? And please don't forget that we are still in the business of doing adverts for people. If you have any genuine product that I want us to advertise for you, or your Facebook page is due for monetization. I said Facebook page and not profile is due for monetization. Please contact us. And the only way you can contact us is by sending an email to skitlordcomedy at gmail.com. Skitlordcomedy at gmail.com. So, fans, as you continue to follow Skitlord Comedy and share all our video to stay updated, may God bless you now and always understand so madam before i call it a quit on this very program you said you haven't been feeding well and you have not been able to pay your house rent um i'm not well prepared i i i just have a little token in my pocket which i can be able to give to you then as time goes on let's look on how we are going to sort out your house be but, but for now you need to be eating first yeah you need to be eating so people the little i have i'm going to give this woman madam this is a hundred thousand naira thank you thank you god bless you this is a hundred thousand naira yeah? <laughs> please yeah please thank just you. manage it i i you didn't tell me this part of the story thank you. yeah 
So, but anywhere I go, I always have, I always love having cash with me because you don't know who you will run into. People are really going through a lot. Yeah. So, madam, just manage this one for your feeding force. Yeah. We'll look into how we are going to sort out your house bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much is your house bill? <laughs> Two eighty. Two hundred and eighty thousand. Two hundred and eighty thousand naira is our house bill. Okay, madam. After this program, eh? Call me in two days time let me see what i can do for you oh, thank yeah? you don't even if i don't have that two eighty thousand, i must do something yeah so please yeah don't let this thing weigh you down don't overwork to yourself don't overthink oh. to avoid having bp mm -hmm. so please yeah thank you. fans as you continue to follow skid comedy to stay updated may god bless you now and always i beg share this video yeah if you like what i did do if you love what i'm doing please please bless me support me by sharing this video and god will bless you now and always amen